my dear panel members and friends. I come from Manipur, and I'll talk on inland fisheries with special reference to Manipur. In Manipur, we have a large lake consisting of about 236 square kilometers, which is considered to be the largest inland freshwater lake in the entire Northeast. In this very lake, there are about one lakh people depending on this lake and its resources. There are also people who are cultivating or having cultured, or we call it in the local context, we call it farm fisheries. They got a good link with the state, and they got a lot of subsidies, and that's how they produce it. On the other hand, we also have the Loktak Development Authority. It's under the government, state government of Manipur, and they are there to look after the lag. They are there to manage and they are there to protect the lake. While doing so, the Loktak Development Authority along with the state agencies have burned down 777 foam huts inside the Loktak Lake in the year 2011. And thereby, the fishers filed a case in the High Court and got an interim order too. And subsequent violation of the Honorable High Court also attracts contempt of court. And the case are still pending. As we talk about the SSF guideline, we also have a little thing to relate to the, Lokta, the Manipur Loktak Protection Act 2006. In this very act, in the name of protecting the lake as well as the welfare of the state, they have enacted this very act, whereas there is no participation of fishes, neither nor fish workers. Forget about women. So if I am to go into a specific, if I were to go into, then, you know, this very particular authority, we call it Loktak Development Authority, is supposed to take care of the lake. Rather, they don't involve the fishers, the fishermen, neither nor any rural-based community people. Rather, the authority consists of honorable MLAs, departmental directors, and all those government agencies. And that is how the fishes are suffering today. The state, especially with reference to Manipur, don't take up social dialogue, neither nor any consultation with the grassroots organizations, neither nor with the fishes and the fish workers. There is no wide campaign about SSF, neither nor about the welfare of the fishes and fish workers. So, the fishers realize that there is a stepmotherly treatment towards the fishers because the fishers that I'm talking about are those fishers who are depending on the community or the common called Loktak Lake, whereas the owner of the Loktak Lake itself is the Loktak Development Authority or the state as a whole. Therefore, the tenants' right and the customary, uh, customary rights, and there is no inherent rights for the fishers as well as fish workers in the Loktak Lake. Now, the government pays emphasis and subsidies to the firm fisheries or firm culture, whereas they don't to the fisheries or to the fishers. In the meantime, the Fishery department don't control the local fish products in the local market, whereas the fisheries, the fishers and the fish worker, especially women, they decide the price of local fish products in the local market on daily basis.
as we all know, the rate of the fish catch is getting lesser and lesser every year. Now, the fishing community realized that, so we have made one program called Fish Festival, where the producer, that is the fishes, they produce it from the natural resources and they sell it at the river bank or at the bank of the lake where the customers come and buy it according to the choices. And the fishes, they decide the price. In the meantime, there is no middleman or the middle class who are dealing between the two. They got a good cut, whereas the consumer, they pay huge amount of it. But in this fish festival that we make it, our intent is that you catch less fish and earn more because we need to go in tune with SSF guideline. Not only that, we are working in a sustainable manner. So I would like to come to, uh, into the conclusion part that there is a big gap between the state and the grassroots level, and there is a gap between the state and the center, and there is a lot of gap between inter- uh, departmental in the state as well as uh, there is no uh, participation of grassroots and community people in the state dialogue. And I would like to thank the organizer for arranging such a good opportunity where the multi-stakeholders could come together and talk about these matters and I hope these will move into another step higher in fulfilling the SSF guideline. Thank you.